All right, good afternoon. This is Peter Lambert, a.k.a. Coach Big Pete of DeepDishFootball.com. Make sure you're following Coach Big Pete and Deep Dish Football on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. I'm going to go over more of the O'Fallon and Bradley Bourbon tonight, 8 p.m., Deep Dish Football Live on Facebook Live on the Deep Dish Football Facebook page. Make sure you have checked out the Deep Dish Football Reddit. Um, also, you can follow Coach Big Pete and Deep Dish Football on Twitter, Facebook, and also on Instagram to check it out. Um, and my email is coachbigpetefp at gmail.com. So let's get into the season so far for O'Fallon High School, the O'Fallon Panthers, as they compete in the Southwestern Conference. Always a tough conference with some tough teams. Uh, but the first uh, week was a loss to a very tough Missouri team in Christian Brothers. Um, always a championship um, competing team for Christian Brothers. So let's get into it for the schedule of the O'Fallon um, Panthers. All right, so we got the Christian Brothers. That's a loss. Bradley Bourbonnet, um, that's going to be a huge game this Friday, and it's going to be a huge game for O'Fallon. Howell Central, Belleville East, Belleville West, Elton, always tough East St. Louis, always tough Edwardsville. Those are the two tough games that they got uh, after the Christian Brothers in East St. Louis and Edwardsville, and at the end, uh, Cahokie, Cahokie, and, uh, that's an emerging team, definitely a team to keep an eye out for as well. Um, personally, they can get the five wins. O'Fallon can get into the playoffs. That's just my personal feeling. I think this is a talented team. I think this team um, can do a lot of stuff this season. Um, it's just a matter of execution um, and basically – the same cliche BS that everyone says, but if they literally, all they gotta do is, um, they gotta believe in themselves. Basically, it's BS. They have the talented players. They got Ian Wagner, Ryan Ritchie. Um, they got a great running back, great wide receiver. They uh, great wide receiver core, uh, good quarterback, good defensive line, good offensive line. They have it all. Um, it's just a matter of execution. Um, their own worst enemy is going to be themselves. That's the, that's the biggest opponent they're going to have this season is themselves, basically. Um, they hired a great coach and guest this, uh, this season. I thought it was one of the best hires in IHSA uh, this, this season for football coaches. Um, and me personally, if they can get this Bradley Bourbon Day win, that's a great win for them. The main key thing for right now is going to be that travel. That travel is going to be the biggest pain in the butt for those coaches. Now, how do you get those kids to um, how do you get those kids uh, with one main goal in their mind right now, just to win that game? That travel takes a takes a lot out of a person. Um, so we'll see what happens. Uh, make the kids sleep for the for the entire ride on the bus. Uh, but it's all, it's going to be a long travel. Now, um, talking about the games, uh, again, like I said, Elton, I see that as a, a pretty good win for O'Fallon. Uh, Belleville East, another win. Uh, Belleville West is going to Belleville West is going to be a little bit of a challenge. Um, I see Cuyahoga. That's going to be another challenge. I think Cuyahoga is going to be the last game to decide if they go to the playoffs or not. That's going to be a definite deciding factor. Um, but it's a very challenging conference with East St. Louis and Edwardsville. Two, um, getting into the team, Ian Wagner, punter, wide receiver, kicker, one of the best uh, uh, kickers, punters in uh, the in the Midwest, even in the nation, kicking and punting both. Um, Ty, uh, Ty Michael, I really like a young quarterback. Um, Latrell uh, Bonner, um, I am very interested in what he can do this season. Mason Blackmore, I really like. I saw some of his game film. Ryan Ritchie. Um, I'm forgetting one other person. There's one person I'm forgetting that I really like too. Drew, uh, Drewell Little, he is huge. If he can, he is a huge defensive end for them. Edge rusher. I really like Drewell Little. Pay attention to him. He is going to be something special this uh this year. Um, I forgot what year is he. A senior. I thought it was a junior, uh, but a senior definitely kid to keep an eye out for as well. Um, they got a good defensive line with uh, Sains, and there's another defensive end I'm for, totally forgetting about. But Ryan Ritchie, he's a he's a mass mover. Ryan Ritchie is one of the top offensive linemen in the state. 
Um, I think uh, the quarterback, he's going to be another kid to look out for in 2021. I like, I like Mason Blackmore as well. They got a couple few young, talented players in the underclasses. Uh, Caleb Mills, I really like. He's another offensive lineman that I've uh, paid attention to on his game film. So it's going to be an interesting game. Um, Bradley Bourbonnet versus O'Fallon. I'm excited this Friday night. It should be a lot of fun. Um, just a quick reminder, Deep Dish Football Live is only one day to th this week. It's tonight, 8 p.m. on Wednesday on Facebook Live, Deep Dish Football Live, talking about the game and all the other games of the week. Thank you so much, and have a lovely day.